Ukraine's military chief says 75 missiles have been fired at the country today and says 41 of those were neutralized by air defenses. Russian President Vladimir Putin has chaired a key Security Council meeting hours after these missile strikes. He called the Crimean bridge explosion an act of terror and justified the missile strikes on Ukrainian cities, calling them a due response to the attack on the bridge linking Crimea and Russia. At least eight people have been killed in the missile strikes on Ukraine. Dozens have been injured. The Russian attacks started this morning in the capital city, Kiev, at around 8 a.m. local time. The mayor of the city says critical infrastructure has been hit. Attacks have also taken place in the cities of Lviv, Dnipro, Ternopil and Zaporizhia. The governor of Zaporizhia says seven missiles have hit that city. Power is out for part of Lviv after missile strikes there. And the operation of the city's thermal power stations has been temporarily suspended. We are dealing with terrorists, dozens of missiles, Iranian Shahid drones. They have two targets, the energy facilities throughout the country. Kyiv region, Kemelnitsky region, Lviv, Dnipro, Vinitsia, Frankiv region, Saporizhia, Sumy region, Kharkiv region, Saitomir region, Kirovorhad region, the south of the country. They want panic and chaos. They want to destroy our energy system. On Telegram, President Zelensky said that Russia wants to wipe Ukraine off the face of the earth. Western leaders from Canada to the European Union have condemned the latest missile strikes. Beijing has called for de-escalation in Ukraine. According to Moldova, the cruise missiles targeting Ukraine crossed its airspace. Moldova has summoned Moscow's envoy to demand an explanation. Meanwhile, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, a close ally of Russian leader Vladimir Putin, claims that Ukraine is preparing an attack on Belarus. Well, for more on this story, we can talk now to Solomir Bobrovska, member of the Ukrainian parliament. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin linking these missile strikes to that uh, explosion of the uh, bridge to Crimea. Is that the type of response um, uh, that people in Ukraine would be expecting from the Russian president? Uh, of course, we were we we expect this, unfortunately. But I have to underline that the, the accident happened on the Kerch Bridge. Uh, there is nothing, uh, no one from the uh, Ukrainian armed forces is staying behind. We think, and we um, what we what we see from from Kyiv and from Ukraine uh, about the battle inside the P Putin's regime, inside the Putin's team between the National Guard and uh, even the Chechen um, uh, group. So I think maybe uh, even we have um, this kind of approach to, to what's happening today in, in all over Ukraine, that, that uh, the Kerch Bridge was just only uh, the matter to have a big um, uh, missile attack on Kyiv. And unfortunately, we're expecting in a couple of hours the second uh, attack on Ukraine. And the Kiev as well, and we are warned to keep in safe places and not to be um, not to be very active outside if there is no need. Uh, so I think we think that it's not the end for today, unfortunately. Uh, and again, going back to Kerch Bridge, uh, unfortunately we expect, and it doesn't matter for Putin who made this: Ukrainians, Russian, or Belarus, or or whatever, or someone from our uh, partners or allies. Uh, he doesn't need any truth. He just needs to push Ukraine to sit uh, on the round table on uh, new negotiations with, uh, with him. What do these uh, fresh wave of attacks do to the morale of people in Kiev? 
I would say you will you will see here in in Kyiv uh, the biggest differences between 24th of February and now. The 24th February we we really didn't expect, uh, and we were shocked. And uh, you will never know how how you will behave if if um, uh, missile attack happened to to the city or to your house or to um, home or whatever. But I don't see now panic uh, in Kiev. Uh, I would rather say that. People, for example, in um, uh, in metro, they are uh, singing. Uh, someone is trying to help outside on the streets. Uh, some of them they just writing messages: "Please don't don't leave your homes. Please keep in safe places." You will not find um, panic uh, leaving Kiev uh, and uh, see this uh, tremendous traffic jams. No. Uh, I would say that um, there is more um, more aggression on Russia, more and more. And you will never um, believe, but for these two, three hours, uh, people gathered around 10 million of grievances to the, as a donation for the volunteer services to buy new drones, kamikaze, <laughs> to, um, to use it for armed forces to, uh, in, in, uh, against Russian, Russian, Russian troops. And uh, that's tremendous because they, in seven months, uh, people react as the nation in war, being prepared almost um, uh, and uh, not panicking because we all understand what our presidents say. The one of the reasons why they are doing this to make panic again and again in uh, in Kyiv, in in other regions, and so on and so on. But we all understand that the main the main aim and targets uh, were and are still this energy. Um, infrastructure and uh, now it's rather cold I would say uh, in Kyiv and we're expecting the cold uh, winter and uh, that's how the, of the new wave of refugees can happen after um, after permanent uh, missile attacks on uh, on big cities or big towns mm -hmm. so we are still still uh, still waiting and we unfortunately expect this day to be very hard for Ukraine Well, on, on that note, what are officials saying exactly about their expectations for what might be to come later today? Uh, so the, the same as it happened in the morning. Again, that's a crucial inf uh, infrastructure, energy infrastructure that uh, uh, heating warm centers, that's electricity in a couple regions um, for uh, it was four regions of Ukraine. There is no um, uh, good connections with the. Uh, um, phone, phone connections, electricity, no electricity in Kharkiv as well. I just want to remind that Kharkiv region and Kharkiv is more than one million of people. And uh, so that's, that's, that shows us the problems. And we expected this to, to happen uh, because that's the way how to demoralize um, civilians uh, before the winter and during the cold uh, autumn. And that's what Russians uh, actually are doing. So the same things we expect uh, in a couple hours um, if, uh, if, if they start the second uh, missile attack uh, on Kyiv. That's a civilian, um, civilian places where they can hit um, a lot of um, peaceful civilians. And of course, that's energy infrastructure in order to make Kyiv um, out of electricity, energy, uh, heating, and so on and so on. Fun connection as well. Solomir, Solomir Bobrovska, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.